to the next episode of Kid Teacher. Today we're gonna try different food. My name is Ling and I'm gonna teach them about Vietnamese food. My name is Yudam and today I will teach Miss Ling about Korean food. How are you? <laughs> My name is Tung and I... <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna teach me today? Huh? What are you gonna teach me today? Korean food too. Korean food. All right, let's begin. Yakwa. Yakwa. What is it? Yakwa. Yakwa. Did I say it right? Yes. What is it made of? It's like a fruit, right? This is a gift. Um, it is kind of made like a cocktail, but it is kind of like um a hard jelly. It's so yum. We eat it like a celebration. Yeah. During like New Year. Yeah. Or Christmas. For Christmas? Wow. I didn't know this is a Christmas dish. Whoa. It's, it's Let's see what it is. Um, it's yours? Yeah, it's Vietnamese. So the name of this dish is Bánh Phu Thê. Bánh Phu Thê. Bánh Phu Thê. And Phu means husband and Thê means wife. So we eat this during weddings because it's a Vietnamese traditional wedding dish. Um, the name origins from many years ago when one of our king went to battle to fight off the enemies and then his wife at home sent him this kind of cake and after eating it he was so happy and so moved that he named it Bang Phu Thê to honor like the love between husband and wife from 1 to 10 how do you rate it? 5 5 okay <laughs> wow it's the what, oh. is, mm, what is this? Mm. Is it a fruit? Is this from? No, it's not mm. real fruit. What, what do you call it? Sun tok. Sun tok? Yeah. Did I say it right? Yeah. Sun tok. <laughs> and then it is from a birthday cake. Oh, so it's also a birthday cake. Like, oh, you want more? <laughs> I really like this. Oh, Corn? right? Yeah. Corn? <laughs> yeah, and fire means rice. And kwa means cracker, so it is uh, rice cracker. Kwa cha? Is it kwa cha? Kwa cha. Kwa cha. Yes. Sai kwa cha. Also eat this when ready. Oh, yeah. when ready? Mm -hmm. mm. We eat this but already. And if it's not yeah. ready, then can you eat it? Yes. Yeah? You know this? Yes. What is it? What is it? Guess what it's made of. Uh, it is made of... Um, Wait, let me um, open it for you. It is kind Here, of this, this like a jelly, wrapper. I know that it's Vietnamese food. Exactly. Do you know the name? Green sticky rice cake. Right? Yeah. Yeah. In Vietnamese, so we I... call it bánh cốm. Bánh cốm. Hmm. Wow. That's <laughs> great pronunciation. <laughs> All right. Everyone, repeat after me. Bánh cốm. Bánh cốm. Hmm. Good. Cốm means sticky rice. A uh, green sticky rice. And bánh means cake. And we also eat this during like festivals, like birthday or New Year or weddings. Yes, I saw that. Mm. Isn't it like the same thing? Oh, right. Oh, yes, Isn't it the same? What's inside Olive. here? It's also rice, right? Yeah, and inside it's also beans. Mm. Right? Mm. Oh, you can have. Right? Isn't it the can same? I have. You want mm. it? Yeah, yeah, it's the same. So similar. The beans inside is a little different, but yeah. overall it's the same. So bánh cốm is really similar to tao. Tao. Right? Did I say it right? Tau. Yeah, you can Tau. call it tok or sun tok. Sun tok. It's funny how like different cultures can have different can have like you know the same kind of food. For example, bánh cốm and the green sun tok. So we learned a lot today about different food of different cultures, and uh, we found out that even though we have like really different cultures and ways of making food, sometimes it's similar which is mind-blowing. Okay, so that's the end of today's episode of Kiss Teacher Food. See you guys later in the next episode. Bye! Bye! bye. Hi vọng các bạn thích video của chúng tôi. Click like và subscribe để xem thêm nhiều video nữa nghe. If you like our video, do not forget to click like and subscribe.